One Man, One Film, an essay by Huru Jackson. There are many nuances that must be ironed out on the path toward total AI dominance. Let me first acknowledge the undeniable excitement of integrative AI filmmaking. This is the AI that would make your mother proud. The AI that might earn mainstream respect. As I said in my interview with Curious Refuge, everyone shares this fantasy of a couple filmmakers in their garage using mocap to create their own Lord of the Rings at that same caliber. The practicality of an integrative workflow is clear not in one way, but in every way. Speaking not of the benefit of the tool, but in AI filmmaking itself. People often cite Spielberg's Jurassic Park as the model for introducing new technology, strategic integration earning audience respect. And while that achievement is undeniable, we're actually having two discussions at once. First, about Hollywood obtaining permission to implement techniques in a respectable way. But respect, beautiful as it is, is manufactured rather than earned. It's no coincidence our respect lands on which Millionaire executed it using the most amount of money. If AI were merely another tool, we could frame it in terms of Jurassic Park. But it's far bigger. The milestone that matters isn't respectful integration or who can remake blockbusters in their garage. I reject speaking in terms of mass entertainment franchises entirely. The real achievement will be who utilizes machine cinema in wholly unthought ways. Who, like Georges Méliès, advances it into magic. Because to have magic, we first have to acknowledge that magic has been granted to us. A realization that is still in progress. Who among us has $8,000 per minute to make a film? Who among us has a million dollar budget? Who among us cannot work a few days to raise Dread Club's budget? And what justifies that massive expenditure if they produced a lesser film? One man, one film. I believe we have a duty to explore the full extent of the machine cinema art form without half measures. We stand at a fork in the road. And the essential question is, what can one person accomplish with nothing but AI tools? There are miles to reach this question, which is why I staked this ground with window seat from the very start. By making the case for one man, one film, it is now up to all competing approaches to better this approach. And in terms of the pure idea of one artist and his vision, the concept is unmatched. The filmmaker becomes the new novelist. The film industry's collapse isn't gradual but total. Therefore, AI cinema too must not creep, but become total. By staking the furthest ground before automated films, I concede no ground when presented with even the best hybrid pictures. It is a different sport entirely. A prospect I imagine will become culturally exciting when people realize the implications. Directorial intent only vanishes when there's no human in the pipeline at all. And even that gives way to producer's intent or writer's intent or any combination therein. We're nowhere near automated films where you input a logline, approve some options, and out comes a movie. Though even then, remember, the producer still wins best picture. Rather, we are at a point where elitist institutionalizing against AI films is emerging by calling them automated films, which is stealing the ground we staked from underfoot. In my view, by definition, gatekeepers should have no voice in the future of AI, else we wouldn't need AI to begin with. No, it must be one man, one film, the core benefit of machine filmmaking is the direct pipeline between imagination and reality. Kubrick noted that editing is the only craft unique to cinema. And here's where it gets interesting. The director, as in auteur cinema, must be active in every decision. My argument is that integration is a slow creep to my vision in window seat that has been realized at the outset. Integrative half-measures might enable baby steps, 
might earn respect from audiences and institutions, but pure AI is the only viable end point. This has been my goal from the start. What can one person do with only AI tools? Not what a team can do with $8,000 per minute. Not what Hollywood can do with an AI department. Not what independent filmmakers can do with a green screen in their garage. These will be different categories, just as a blank canvas represents the painting art form with no rules beyond the blank canvas. So too can the new machine cinema art form be anything in any way with any how. But it is the one category I stake as most important. One man, one film. Like the 100-meter dash in the Olympics, the purest test of human speed, stripped of all complexity. Similarly, while AI cinema will branch into countless forms, hybrid productions, mocap integration, team collaboration, studio departments, the pure sprint of uh, solo AI filmmaking warrants its own category. While I reserve the right to explore all avenues, I believe this is most vital. And though it might seem contradictory at first, it's empowering that we could make 20 dread clubs for the cost of one minute of hybrid film. I ask, which approach truly represents the future? If methodology mattered in life, if trials and suffering carried inherent value, we'd all be patron saints. The distinctions suggest parallel paths requiring formal categorization. But perhaps that too is temporary. Perhaps one man, one film is so philosophically it that anything else is just a road to the place that I am waiting. Thank <laughs> you.